coach Susan Urban here. How are you on this beautiful day? Wanted to have some time. Uh, I wanted to jump in here today and talk to you about a really, really important topic. This this topic is so near and dear to my heart, and that is how to have a success mindset. And believe it or not, even though I said in the post how to have a success mindset, it takes a lot more to have a success mindset than just a mindset. So hear me out. Um, now, if you are on purpose, in other words, if you know what your purpose is in life and you are living that purpose, I don't need to tell you, clearly you are incredibly fulfilled and you wake up every day with passion in your heart and excitement and and you just can't wait to get out of bed and, and time seems to fly all day long and you're just living in that hard space and loving to serve. And, and so that's really, I have to say, finally, where I am at. I have finally found what my purpose is and I can feel it in every bone. And if that's something you're experiencing, congratulations, because you know how incredibly fulfilling and wonderful that feels. And the truth is, it took me a while because what I didn't realize that I had for so long is these subconscious blocks and fears that were holding me back truly from giving myself permission to live the life on my dreams, on my standards, on my conditions, on my terms. And I really bought into, into a different mindset that wasn't even mine. But unfortunately, because I wasn't even aware of that, I lived in a very unfulfilled, unsuccessful, unhappy place and space for way too long. And you know, if you believe in the universe, everything happens for a reason. And I totally believe that. But and this is exactly why I know that today, because I, I, I do get to live my purpose, I have this incredible opportunity. And I know why I had to experience all these so-called failures, trials, tribulations, challenges that I mean, obviously, I don't have to tell you, if you've lived five minutes or longer, then you probably have experienced a lot of pain, hurt, and whatnot in your life. But now today I understand that it was all on purpose. It was all on design. And now because of that, I get to share this with you and help you break through your subconscious blocks and fears, should you have any. And I guess what I would like to share with you is that if you are, you know, how does somebody know if they have subconscious blocks and fears, right? Well, there's a very simple question you can ask yourself. If you are somebody, especially a professional, a high achieving, success driven, you know, taking on a, a lot of responsibility kind of a professional where you know what you want, you have goals, you have dreams, you have a vision, you have a lot of clarity, you work hard, you are dedicated, you are committed, you have the right tools, you have the right credentials, you are at the right place at the right time, you see all these opportunities, opportunities in front of you, you know you're good at what you're doing, and again, you have the skill set. All those things are aligned should be easy, right? Everything is right there at your fingertips. But if you notice that you're self-sabotaging, you're procrastinating, you're hesitating at times, you're not able to make decisions quickly and then act on them, you're doubting yourself, maybe you feel not as confident as you should be or want to be, maybe you have started to compare yourself to other people, I should be further along, you know, how come that person's getting all the opportunities? How come that person's is, is much richer? How come that person's driving the better car? You know, or maybe even on the flip side, who do I think I am? I don't feel ready yet. I don't think I can. Um, you know, I just think I need to study more. I need to get more tools. I need to get more funnels, whatever that is, right? And you're living in this space of doubt, and as I said, procrastination, and you're not really taking that massive action, that consistent, relentless, effortless, taking risks left and right, moving forward, breaking through barriers, breaking your glass ceiling. If you are noticing that that is not where you're at, 
but you wish to be even though it seems like everything is aligned and and or here's the other thing and this is the space i was in for so long i kind of just went through the motions i knew that my career wasn't as fulfilling as i wanted to, it to be and i'm like well but the money is good and the people i work with is good and you know it's okay it's not bad oh look at all the wonderful things that i have but deep down every day a little part of me died because i knew that is not my full potential i am capable of so much more and i could see myself you know having the ability to really move and transform people because the thing is i was in the fitness industry industry for 20 years had a fitness business but now to me the uh what i now see is that yes i still helped and transform people and and help people heal and and become healthy but compared to what i do today it was a very petty and i'm not saying fitness is fitness is important and huge and to this day it's non-negotiable in my it must happen in my life you know fitness nutrition um uh, you know sleep hydration it must happen it will not not happen but compared to what i can do today with people which is really helping them see those things that are truly holding them back because once we get to break through those self self-sabotaging subconscious blocks it will change their entire life not just the fitness it will change their health. It will change their relationships. It will change how successful they are in their career. It will change how they see themselves from an identity perspective. It will change their relationship they have with themselves. So it's a completely different, different way I get to serve people. And so it is by far the number one thing that I see so many professionals struggle with is this frustration this disappointment of you know i could be achieving a lot more i know i'm good at this i know you know that i could be reaching all these heights but for some reason i'm not doing it and what is it that is holding me back only to again at the end of the day feel depleted feel deleted feel disappointed feel you know ashamed of up oh, you know another day went by where i didn't put myself out there where i wasn't able to achieve all these things and the number one thing that may also be holding you back are these subconscious blocks and fears. And you may be in a position where you're like, yeah, but you know what? I'm doing all these affirmations and I'm meditating every day and I'm journaling and I've done all this therapy and I've read all these self-help books and I do biofeedback. I even go to therapy and all these other modalities. And congratulations, because that shows me how relent shows us how relentless you are and how, how determined you are and how motivated you are and how you really subconsciously decided you will find a way. Just shows how much you care, right, about the trajectory of your life, how much you care to be a role model, how much you care to be the breadwinner in your family possibly. But only to find out that none of those things worked the way you wanted it. And here's the number one reason why. And if this is all you take away from our time together, then this will be huge because then you will finally understand and stop beating yourself up about it and blaming yourself about it and feeling frustrated because that's something I used to do. Oh, you should be further along. You should have figured this out. What's wrong with you? You're an adult. You know, you should be stronger. You should be better. You should, should, should. And I should all over myself as Tony Robbins says, did that use, uh, help me? No, it didn't help me. It made me feel worse. Because bad enough, you know, commercials tell us we're not good enough. But then for me to tell myself on top of all of that, I'm not good enough, doesn't feel very good or productive. So that does not serve us. The reason meditations, affirmations, journaling, yada, yada, all those other things don't work the way they should and could, quite frankly, is because discovering your subconscious blocks is a highly personalized strategy that you get to look at so in other words 
there is something that happened, an event, an experience. Um, and it may, obviously, it is totally buried in your subconscious. Otherwise, you would be consciously aware of it. And then you would be able to understand the meaning and the message, the learning, the resources, and so on and so on. But there is something that happened that is causing you to now have a limiting belief, a self-sabotaging limiting belief, and or an emotion, and we humans like to label it as a negative emotion, that is so packed in to your subconscious, that is, that is so deeply pushed down that you're simply not aware of it. And it's typically those limiting beliefs, those limiting decisions, those negative emotions that are causing self-doubt, anxiety, worry, over-worrying, overthinking, overwhelm. Those are all symptoms that you may be holding on to these subconscious blocks. And they are, say, boulders. Because the truth is, can we live with it for the rest of our lives? Yeah, we can. But it's going to be very uncomfortable. And it's, it's going to lead to a dissatisfying life, unsatisfying life, and really missing out on a lot of opportunities, whether it's money, whether it's relationships, whether it's, you know, how we get to serve people. And this really is the number one thing I would like anybody to know. Because once you are free and you uncover these subconscious blocks, you gain so much insight about yourself, about your purpose, about your mission, about your potential that simply was outside of your conscious awareness before you were able to look at these things. It sounds so simple and the truth is it is. It is that simple. And again, the biggest message I want to share with you, the reason all these things haven't worked yet is because this is a deeply personal um, uh, exercise that you get to do should you be open and willing to, to experience this. D this. This cannot possibly be a generalized approach. It doesn't work because we all have had very unique life experiences. And by the way, what causes trauma in one person, the other person might be completely unfazed by that. So again, it's, it isn't even fair to judge trauma as trauma. Because look, to this day, I cannot watch a horror movie. I cannot watch a movie where there is abuse and, and uh, you know, physical animals, children. I'm out. I can't handle it and I won't handle it. It's not good for me. So, and, and there are people who just watch horror movies every night, right? So I'm not here to judge that, but I, I need to discern for myself what's best for me. But because I was able to remove these subconscious blocks and fears, now when I meditate and when I journal, right? And when I do all this self-help work and self-empowerment work, it is done with, with a much different strategy. It is a personalized strategy for me, not for the general public, right? And, and then, of course, our mind loves repetition. And when you do this with repetition, when you begin to train and condition your mind on purpose, right, every single day, then all of a sudden you get to experience these results in your life that you want. Hey, Joshua, nice to see you. Um, and I could go on and on about this, but this is so important for me to share because so many people, honestly, um, you know, stay in, in this place of frustration, disappointment and, and truly missing out, you know, and it please believe me if I tell you it is not for a lack of being motivated or being courageous or wanting all these things for yourself. You I promise you, you are already as motivated as you need to be. You are probably already as relentless as you need to be and courageous as you need to be. But if you feel that something is blocking you from not moving forward as powerfully as you want to, and yes, let's use the word should, <laughs> should, because the truth is you are probably brilliant at what you do. You're probably gifted and talented. And the truth is because we are amazing at what we do, I always say, we owe it to society to serve. We owe it to, would you agree with this? Right? I mean, shame on me if I know I'm the best brain surgeon in the world, but I'm hiding in a corner somewhere because, oh, I don't know. I'm not ready yet. Right? 
No, I think if we are gifted, talented, and motivated, we deserve to be in the spotlight. You deserve to shine your light and say, hey, this is what I can do for you. And that's how we serve each other. And I think that ultimately is the purpose in life is to serve one another with discernment, if you know what I mean. Uh, because just like you and I, we're not for everybody, right? There are certain people, clients, whatever you like to call them, um, you know, that may want to utilize our service and other people just don't see the value. Not a problem. But that still implies that we get to, we get to put ourselves out there. But if we hold on to these subconscious blocks and fears, we cannot serve as powerfully as we want to. And I'm sharing this with you because this is something I experienced for way too long. In a sense, I'm embarrassed to admit that and I feel ashamed about it. But the truth is, I didn't know what I didn't know. Um, and so now that I do know what was underneath all of that, I get to share this with you. Because this is one of the most powerful things that I could ever experience and offer to you is helping you break through these subconscious blocks. Again, if this is something you're open to and even want to. And um, ultimately what that will allow you to do is be who you're supposed to be in your full power, in your full potential, become the best version of yourself. Whether that means breaking the addiction of alcohol, stop smoking, start taking better care of yourself, set boundaries, put yourself out there more, be more outspoken, be more assertive, be more confident, you know, take better care of your family, be more patient with your little ones, be the better parent, whatever that means to you. And if you're looking at your life right now, you're like, hmm, there are certain things that are not quite the way I want them to be yet. Well, number one, congratulations, because that means you have standards, you have desires, you have dreams, and you have goals. And I love you for that. But if you're also noticing that I just don't know how to get there yet, I'm here for you. Because that is probably where I can help you most powerfully. So that you can begin to dominate in your life, which is a word I love to use because it has so much power in it and, and so much, um, but not power from, from the wrong, from an ego perspective, but power from, you know, when you feel in your gut, when you just know, it's just a knowing, just your truth. So I am here for you if you are open to a conversation about this, because once again, as I say, so much of what I do is deeply personal and, um, and that's the only way it will work this is not a generalized approach and you deserve to have that personalized attention i'm here for you love you much thank you for being in my group please feel free to invite your friends and family if you think this is useful content uh the more the merrier and of course my number one mission is just to help more people so that our world can be a better place and this is exactly why i love to work with world leaders and influencers because typically their network and their community is big right and imagine if i change them and they get to affect everybody in their network the trickle effect of that and that's what i'm excited about take care